How fine is Jasmine? TikTok. Jazz is natural. Instagram. Social media is down below. We're back. Sorry, I was working. Pop the balloon or file up. Or let Emily. Come out if he's your type, you're feeling him, you like what he's saying, all that good stuff. Do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that he said that you're like, ooh, red flag, mm -mm, this guy's not for me, go ahead and pop it. Then I'll go over to um, a few of you and see what's going on and why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Yeah. So far, all the ladies dressed perfect. I love it. Yes, yes. I see some familiar faces, maybe one, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. I'm scared. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Uh, my name is Theophilus Macy. Theophilus? Yeah. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. He's kind of ugly. He's kind of... Theophilus, how old are you? I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? Um, I'm a chef. I create mm -hmm. artworks and sell it too, and I also make beats and stuff. Oh, okay, nice, nice. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Well, mostly respect mm -hmm. and somebody who's more like traditional. Okay. And stuff like that, because for me, I'm mostly raised like a traditional man, mm -hmm. but traveling around, that's what I always look for in a lady. Okay, all right. So, we did get some pop balloons. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going on over there, oh, okay? For sure. <laughs> all right, if we can have your name and age. Heaven, I'm 25. Hey, Heaven. Heaven, what do you do? So I'm a designer. Uh, I do digital marketing, and I also am a part-time nurse assistant. Okay, all right. And now, Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I'm not intrigued. I don't want to, you know. Okay, and what is causing you to not be intrigued? I'm just not. I don't want to go, like, any further. Well, that's respectful. I, I admit that. You look beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, I respect that, too. Mm -hmm. That is respectful. Thank you. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. Ashley again. And Ashley, what do you do? Ashley Banks. <laughs> I am a model and model coach. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just wasn't, it just didn't immediately grab my attention. Okay. That's all. It wasn't really nothing deep. I, <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. you look good too. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. And now, is Ashley someone that's your usual type? Oh, uh, yeah. She's not bad, you know. Mm -hmm. She's sizable. I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. If we can have your name and age. I'm Leah. I'm 28. And Leah, what do you do? I'm a labor and delivery register nurse. Okay. All right. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I like to be obsessed with my man, and it's not giving obsessed. Mm. Okay. Jesus. What is it giving? Well, I hear obsessed. I hear toxic, like obsession, like, I don't know. I don't think I want to be that obsessed with somebody. Like, I understand being in love, but like to the brink of obsession, it's crazy. Um, not for me, but for somebody else. <laughs> I respect that. You know, sometimes being obsessed leads to toxicity, so I understand that too. <laughs> But yeah, but she's she's good looking, and I like her swag. She's okay, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Sincere. I'm 27. Oh, Sincere. Sincere, what do you do? Um, I work in finance and banking. Yes. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? He has great energy. I just believe in love at first sight, and I wasn't in love. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> was energy? there something like that, that yeah. was making you say it's not love at first sight? I just know, you know, okay. when you know, you know. <laughs> I, I expect it. I like that, too. And with the great energy part, yeah, yeah. my energy be hitting the roof. Yeah, yeah that's I good. I like that, too. Okay, thank you. If we all, I'm sick, so I might sneeze and cough a little bit. So, yeah. Your name and age? Uh, my name is Alexis. I am 29. Okay. Alexis, what do you do? Um, I work in the finance industry. All right. However... <clears throat> <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? He has like cool vibes, but I'm just not um attracted what to What is the finance industry? Not attracted to you. Okay. Respect that. <laughs> you got a you got a nice beautiful vibe to her as well. Thank so you. yeah. She does. Respectfully. And now is there anything in particular that you're not attracted to? Mm. You know, because I don't like to discriminate, if you will, but like, you know, a little shorter. Oh, yeah. Shorter. But it's not even just that. It's just like 
I need to like feel it like the aura like gravitate towards you. I'm not gravitating, unfortunately. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I is she your that. type? Oh, she might Yeah, yeah. she is. Oh, I'm I, not gonna lie to you, y'all. Whenever I hear these men these women say, Oh, I just want a man that when he step in the room, everybody wants him and stuff like that. And I feel like that's easier said than done. Because I don't want to have to fight for my life to keep my man. Like, and I'm not saying that has anything to do with the women. It would be against the man for going against me if he decides to flock over there to the women that admire him. But I just don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be obsessed with my man. But I also don't want everybody, to, as soon as he walk in, everybody like... Like, I want my man to be attractive, don't get me wrong, but I want him to be attractive for me, not everybody else. That's why when people say, oh, I don't, nobody wants your man to other women. They'd be like, girl, don't nobody even want him. You know, he, well, he not that fine, he not that cute. He's supposed to be cute to me. Yes, he is cute to me. I like it. I like when y'all don't like my man. Same thing with the Beyonce and Jay-Z. A lot of people find Jay-Z ugly and unattractive. And I'm just like... I know Beyonce is like good, good. <laughs> I like tall ladies, okay. you know. But I understand when it comes to the height preference, mm-hmm. I expect that too. It's as not well. much preferred. You know? yeah. I've done it before, but just mm, no, gravitating. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Angel, twenty-three. And Angel, what do you do? Um, I'm in the Air Force. Okay. Yes, girl. And right. now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, me personally, I just don't like dreads. I don't like like the like I don't know the, those are dreads right? Oh yeah. Oh well. I'm surprised. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't like dreads, okay. and and I like someone a little taller than me. I'm five five without heels. Uh, I respect the high side, but she don't like dreads. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, God, I'm sorry. Nothing's we, wrong with we, you. I we ain't got no wave. We are not in the wave ever no more. I, I was talking to this guy, and he has locks, obviously, and um. He was like, you know, surprisingly, like our generation, because I'm 24 and he's in his 30s. It was like our generation. It was the one that actually made like locks more popular. And I was like, you know what? You're actually fucking right. Because when I was in high school and middle school, we had wave check, you know, but also the waves kind of slowly transition into locks and people start really liking locks. But honestly, if you're a guy, as long as you have some type of something going on with your hair and you're not just growing it out, like y'all know, or y'all seen pictures and videos of when I had my 4C hair, like I don't want my man to have his hair out like, um, what's that dude from BMF? Big Meech. I mean, Lil Meech. <laughs> I almost called him Big Meech. Lil Meech, like... I don't like that. Hold on. Let me, let me, little Meech. This, this one. This. I don't like that. You see, there's nothing going on with his hair. It's all just like out. Like, I don't like a guy whose hair is like, you got to cut it. I need some type of cut. I need some type of locks. I need waves. I need, I need a buzz cut. Buzz cut. Fade. You know, or just, or just go like this. You know what I'm saying? If you can't grow hair and you got little straggly hairs, cut it all. Cut it. A man with nappy hair? No. You know, break, corn roll it. Do something. But men that don't take care of their hair, I just, I just can't fuck with it. But yeah, I like locks, waves, whatever. You know, waves. I did braids, and now I'm doing dress. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I like that. You know, it's okay. I respect that too. Yeah. You know. Okay. And now, how tall are you? Me. Why they zoom in? Okay. Yeah. It's five six. Five five. That's not bad. All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. (laughs) We can have your name and age. My name is Alexis, and I'm 29. Alexis, Alexis, what do you do? Uh, I'm a massage therapist. Okay. And now, why did we end up popping our balloon? Um. So I love your aura. I love your vibe. Uh, I just I like my men a little bit taller. Okay. So nothing personal. I love your. I love it. I love your aura. We need no, statistics on short men and how often do they get into relationships? I'm about to look up this shit right now because 
Alexis your type? Yes, she is. Okay, what makes her your type? Well, she got a beautiful smile. She's nice. She got swag. And I like my woman that can represent me when I step out because I like to look good. Mm-hmm. But the high stuff, this is what I can say. I didn't ask God to create me. I came the way I came. <laughs> but, you know, I still make the best of what I can make with. But I respect that, too. She is decent. And all the ladies look good. And I take your points of view really serious. Cool. But Thank I like you. that, too. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so we do have an unpopped balloon back here. All right, if we can have your name and age. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari, um, and I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Sakari, what do you do? I am a travel nurse, and I also am a brand ambassador for Holistic Wellness. Nice. Okay. And now we see your balloon is still unpopped. So what is intriguing you? Why is your balloon still unpopped? Well, initially, just based off looks, like you're not necessarily like a type for me, but I like the fact that you said that you were a chef, and I just like your overall like energy. Oh. So, yeah, I just wanted to probably like you know ask you a couple more questions and see okay. where it goes. Oh yeah, I'm intrigued. You can ask me. I'll yeah, answer. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can ask me everything, and I really like that you kept the balloon and. I really like the point that it's not all about the looks, but more like the personality-wise. And mm-hmm. I feel like maybe you getting to know me more will show you that regardless of the height, I can be more than anything else. So I'm maybe. open for the answer. <laughs> so you said you had some questions for him. You want to start off with the first question? Sure. So um, you say you're a chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so what are um, your favorite things to cook? So like for me, um, I was born in Liberia. I'm African, but I'm okay. also British from my mom's side. I can cook anything, but I like my jollof rice. And mm-hmm. I know the Ghanaians be saying they like jollof. The best jollof is from Liberia, and we make it late. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, I can cook anything. Give me the recipe, and I'll prepare it straight up. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm plant-based, so how do you feel about, um, I guess, vegan life? Oh, we can adjust to that. Ooh. I tried vegan before. Aww. So when it comes to vegan, <laughs> yeah, I can respect you. If you want a vegan recipe, I'll prepare it exactly the way you like it. Okay. But yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Do you do you have any questions for her? Um not really. Oh. I think if, if I have any other questions, it'll be something that we get to know personally and I can ask. Because right now she is a beautiful lady uh-huh. and I can see that she wanna explore more uh-huh. and I'm willing to go there and venture more with her. Oh so, okay. yeah. let me let me bring you on out here. I'm gonna have to pop. Okay, why are we talking? I was not expected. Um, it's just the, I mean, I'm just not just what sees the eye. Mm. So you asking me questions and me getting to know you is how I'm going to connect with you. Mm. So for you to just not ask me anything and just go based off looks, it just. No, it's not ba- being based off looks. It's just like right oh. now in the moment. Like the the questions to pop out is like it doesn't just really happen spontaneously. I just feel like within like if we sit down and have questions and I sit you. down to talk to each other more, I feel like that that's when the question can come. I understand, up. but to come to a dating show and not have questions already prepared, it seems okay. I understand where she's coming from. I understand what he saying. You know, he rather like. Why would I ask you such personal questions right here on camera when we can sit down and actually get to know each other? I understand that and I understand her perspective. Well, why would you come on a dating show when I have questions already prepared? It seems like you're very eager. It seems like you're like on go. And sometimes when you're dating for actual intentions of love, people don't want to feel like it's being rushed. People don't want to, people want to feel like you actually care and that you're actually taking the time to get to know them. So especially a short man, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying short men don't get to get it, you know, and you know what I mean by it, you know, but I'm just saying that they do get less of it. They do get less of it, but, um, it just comes across as finally, I got somebody to like me. Let's go, you know? And I think that that is how she perceived it instead of still keeping that king energy of wait wait hold on wait before we continue you know how do you feel about kids are you looking to get married anytime soon are you looking to have kids anytime soon you know stuff like that you know but i understand both what do y'all think but in this time of right now it's like 
there's like a thousand questions, but I don't know which one to pick. It's like you're one in a billion, but then what type of question am I able to present to you? But I respect that, regardless if you pop the balloon or not. But I understand if you want to still try to taste that jollof, <laughs> I can still make that happen. But I respect that too as well. And he's such a gentleman, very kind. Oh man, okay, you were so close. I know. That, that's how life goes. Right. That's 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 how life goes. You know, there's there's situations sometimes you meet people in life and you don't know the questions to ask because you're scared to ask the wrong questions. Oh, yeah. So yeah. sometimes you want to you know take the time like a little time to marinate and then be able to get that okay. question up. You know, that's what I'm saying. And then like we always say, there's. A th hundred thousands of people watching this video sometimes you might not even want them to ask you such personal questions on a video like this where everybody's watching you know what i'm saying so you know i get i don't know i'm y'all i'm sorry i don't want to feel like i'm making excuses for people but people just they don't like to give a little bit of leniency just a little bit you know just a little bit so i looked it up so in the UK, they found that in more than nine out of 10 couples, which is 92.5%, the man was taller than the women. And that's in the UK. It says American man that is five feet, two inches tall, which is about 1% of the population. And then it says, sorry, I'm thinking stuff in my head. And sometimes I don't say it out loud. The UK study also says that they found that 4.1% of couples, the women were taller than the man. So you have better luck in the UK as a shorter man than you would in the US. But then again, the UK people don't like Americans. So, you know, it all depends. I will. Well, you are beautiful ladies <laughs> and nice. Hopefully you guys found what you're looking for. Yeah. You know, maybe down the line someday you may see me and you get a taste. There's your love rise and stuff like that. All right. Well, I All appreciate right. Thank time. you for coming on. Let's give it up. He's so nice, but I'm not even going to lie. My ick, which is AKA the most annoying thing, is when you and a guy are like, you know what? I don't think this works. And the first thing that they say is, good luck. Good luck. Good luck? What do you mean by good luck? Good luck. Like, what does that even mean? You know? Just be like, hey, I don't think this is going to work, but I enjoyed talking to you. Same to you. Walk off. You don't need to say anything else. You don't need to try to make it weird. You don't need to explain yourself. If somebody says they're not interested in you, do not be like, good luck. Don't say, well, I hope you find what you're looking for. That comes off as passive aggressive. It comes off as um, you're being mean. It comes off as, oh, like, I don't think you're actually going to find what you're looking for. It comes off as, oh, well, you missed out type shit. You know, that's why it's best to just be like, whatever. And the guys that I did turn down and, you know, it just didn't work out. I was just like, OK, bye. And they expect you to say something more. It's like, what do you want me to say? Like, no, don't leave me. Oh, my God. Like, what do you expect me to say? Like, please. Oh. Like, we're just dating. We're just getting to know each other. If you don't like me, if I don't like you, goodbye. It was nice talking to you. Be civilized. Marvin, how old are you? 30 years old. 30, okay, and what do you do? So I'm in the Air Force, I am an image consultant, and I also do personal training. Okay. Y'all know how I feel about a man that has more, that has a lot of things going on. I don't like it. Air Force would have been sufficient enough. All of the rest of you do are just hobbies. You know, what's your main source of income? Yeah, all right, you're a busy man. <laughs> right. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um. I mean, similar things like I like a woman that is also in shape, that likes to value that. Um, has a good head on her shoulders. I know it's kind of vague, but you know, I feel like I kind of sense that vibe rather than like put into words. Okay, all right. Sense. Okay, and what do you like to do for fun? Um, I mean, aside from working out, I like going outdoors. I like hiking. 
I like traveling, mm -hmm. shopping, because okay. I'm an image consultant. So I mean, that's just something that I do. In All my right. Space time. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So Marvin, as we see here, there are no balloons popped. I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the premise of the show for a second. Yeah. Okay. So now okay. So sorry. Before we move on, the reason why I said what I said is because when somebody says they have so many things that they do, it's like, bro, when are you gonna find time for me? Where do I fit in? Where does kids fit in? Where does marriage? Fit in? Where does marriage fit in? So it's like, we have all these things going on. I'm like, mm, kind of a red flag for me. What's going to happen is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. If cool. I can have your toothpick. Thank you. I'm going to have you hold that. So for the first round, I know it's going to be a little bit tough, but we're just going to have you pop two balloons strictly two. based off of looks. So you can go ahead and pop those two. And then I'll go ahead and ask you, you know, off of their look, what made you pop? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I think we go to the one with the black jumpsuit. My apologies. I knew it. Okay, and I one knew more. It. Uh, He's gonna go for the one in the blue dress with the brown locks. <laughs> oh my god! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Okay, let's start right here. Yo. If we when you start watching enough of these videos and you start talking to guys and shit and you just grow up and just mature, you start knowing what kind of girl a guy would date based off of his answers, the kind of job he works, how he dresses, and how he carries himself. You just know. I have your name and age. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Okay, and let me have you stand right oh, here. Oh, my bad. There you go. You're good. <laughs> and um, Marvin, why did you end up popping her balloon? <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, if I'm being shallow, it was the outfit. That's really all it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get you. Yeah. We match, though. We do match. <laughs> we could yeah. go out, like, now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> and now, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? He's in the Air Force. He likes to travel. I was going to ask him if he had his passport and where he has been, but that's yeah, okay. Passport. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go on to our next one over here. If we can have your name and age. Angel 23. Okay. And now, Marvin, why did we end up popping <laughs> Angel's balloon? Um, I don't know. Just not my type, mm. honestly. Yeah. And in, yeah. in what way? What makes her not your type? Exactly. Um, are led with the instigating ass questions. I love it. Look at her face. She know. She like, mm, say what you want to say. Are led. You could just, if you're good at reading facial expressions, you just know. You just know. I guess, yeah, just didn't catch my attention, but I don't mean that in like any kind of crazy way. Just didn't catch my attention. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. And now, Angel, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Mark? Because oh, I'm in the Air Force too. Really? So was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Small what? world out here. Man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. okay. All right. So we do have a few ladies still left. Did you have a question to go ahead? I'm and not even gonna lie. Men don't care about your job. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> you could be in. You could be a janitor somewhere. You could be. Work in the smoothie machine at McDonald's. Men don't give a fuck about what kind of job. <laughs> you could be the person that's standing beside the elevator pushing buttons. If he finds you cute, attractive, and he like you, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> Narrow it down. Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Um, do you guys have children? Okay. Oh, shit. So are you holding up the number of children? Yeah, I knew that. Two now, children. Is that a deal breaker for you? It is. It is? Okay. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that Ashley Banks, sorry, her name, her name is Ashley Banks, but I, every time she says Ashley, I just think of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But I'm surprised that Ashley Banks has kids. Like, what? Talk about body yaddy yaddy. All right, let's just go ahead yes. and go over to some of those ladies. Like <laughs> if we can have your like name that. and age. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari. I'm, I'm 30 years old. Okay. okay. And Sakari. Oh shout out to black women, bro. What? 
there's no way we look this good after having kids, bro. I, I haven't had kids yet. But look at these three beautiful ladies all lined up in a row. Two of them have two kids. One has one kid. And they look bad. You couldn't tell me these girls, these women. Sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect them like that. You can't tell me these women aren't in their, like, early 20s. Just by looking at them. Like, look. Look at how black women age after having babies, bro. Look at, look at us. Like, what? Who else can look that bad? Nobody, bro. Ugh. Did you leave your balloon on pop for Marvin? Um, he seems pretty well rounded. Um, so I just gave it a shot. Okay. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Look at them. We can have- look at look. Just look. Name and age. Look at how bad, bro. We just because I know in other videos, you know, in the other videos, the women have said some stupid shit. But I'm not even gonna lie. Let's take the time to appreciate the beauty of these black women right now because like like I pray to look this good after having kids. Like what? Ashley, I'm twenty nine. And she's and- she's twenty nine. I know she keep she said this multiple times, but it just like tw- she's twenty nine. She's had she has two kids. She does not look 29 at all, bro. Stop fucking playing with black women, bro. Stop. And we just keep looking younger and younger and younger. And I'm not just talking about women, black women with Botox and shit like that and surgeries. I'm talking about natural women. Like, look at us. We don't even need that Botox shit, that surgery shit. Stop putting that shit in your bodies. Look at these three beautiful women right here. Look at them. They... Yo, you cannot look at Ashley right here and tell me that she isn't 20, 21, 22. Bad. Just bad. Ashley, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Marvin? Well, definitely very polished. He said he was an image consultant. He likes to shop. I model. Mm -hmm. It just kind of fit that way. But also, intellectually, I feel like he has a good head on his shoulders, and that's something I'm kind of focusing on. Um, but I ended up popping because still break those kids yeah. and I do have children, so. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> You're beautiful though. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Very. You have your name and age. My name is Leah. I'm 28 years old. All right. And Leah, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? He's very handsome. Yo, she's 28. <laughs> Black women, bro. All different shapes, sizes, ages. Look at how we look after we have kids. Like, don't play, don't play with us ever. And I'm gonna keep saying this. His teeth, I love, I'm a teeth person. Yeah. He has nice lips as yeah. well. It's very fit. It's giving my type. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? I know you said the kids are the deal breaker though, but. Yeah. Okay. All right, girl. <laughs> and then right down over here. Okay. If we can have your name and age. Yes, Alexis. I'm 29. Um, and Alexis, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Because he's a good-looking gentleman. He seems like he has his head on it, um, his shoulders, and um, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Marvin, is she your type as well? Yeah. Honestly, I don't think he would have chose her. I don't think he would have chose her. If it came down to it, he would have popped her balloon. The dress. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> all right so we do still have two balloons unpopped did you have another question that you wanted to ask the ladies to help us narrow it down do you smoke okay let's go over here if we can have your name and age my name is heaven i'm 25 okay. and heaven his question was do you smoke no okay cool cool okay. huh? and then let's go down over here if we can have your name and age. Um, my name is Alexis. I'm 29. All right. And Alexis, to answer his question, do you smoke? No. I have not before. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. She's beautiful, but that dress is not flattering to her, to her figure. I know. Okay. Cool. Cool with me. All right. Ladies, do you guys have a question for him? All right. So, like, what's a few, like, important 
your most important characteristics that you look for in a woman? I would say level-headed, so you know how to have a conversation. You don't jump to conclusions. You're able to actually have, um, like if we have disagreements, we can actually go over those disagreements and not just be at each other's throat. I think that's a big thing. I'm a very big communication person, so I would say that's number one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh. That was perfect. Okay. <laughs> I mean, communication is key. But, you know, I would say, like, communication and comprehension, though, because a person can communicate with you and not understand you. So you have to be able to understand and communicate. But, See? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go down over here. We'll be back for you, girl. <laughs> okay. Be caring about, well, I care about this shit, but I need to know what's your five year plan? In that five year plan, you, you see kids. You see marriage, shit, not even five years, three, three, three. If you say, no, I'm not looking for kids, I'm not looking for marriage in the next three years, sorry, babe, can't do it. But once you say yes, then we can talk about all that other shit. Evan, did you have a question for Marvin? What's your relationship with God? Um, I do not have a relationship with God. I would say wow. that... Because, I mean, are you Christian, I'm assuming? Yes. Or you are Christian? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not Christian, but I do explore different religions, but I'm not attached to one. Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I took your toothpick, didn't I? <laughs> okay, and now why did we wow. end up popping? That's very important. Yeah. That's it is. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, the man is a leader of the house. The man controls the house. The man sets the tone of the house don't get me wrong women do too but there's nothing like the feeling of a man just stepping in the house and the vibes change for the better you know dad's home daddy's home you know and i feel like there is nothing more respectable than a man of faith stepping into your life you know and i feel like with women being bearers of children and holding up the inside of the house we need to be uplifted by a man of faith you know a man of faith is, is going to talk to you a certain type of way in certain type of ways that you need when maybe you're pregnant or you're pmsing or whatever you're going through as a woman you know up okay. there fair enough mm -hmm. i respect I it mm -hmm. okay Let's go down over here. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, Alexis. I heard you say a little something when he said he doesn't have a relationship with God. Is that something that's a problem for you? It's very important because, like, he's the one who leads the way. But I will say, though, like, I can't make you believe in God. Like, that has to be, like, you have to find him on your own. But, like, having the conversations, eventually, if it happens, you know, it'll probably work. If not, you know, I can't like force you to have a relationship that's between you and God. I will say that in the Bible, it does talk about how a Christian and a um, maybe somebody that isn't necessarily devoted to Christianity can be together and through the power of love, things can change. But that love got to be love. That's a different kind of of, that's a different kind of love for you to change religions for somebody. That's why I like that song, um, Alligator Tears by Beyonce on, on the album, Cowboy Carter. That's my favorite song on the album. She said, you said change religions, now I spend Sundays with you. That's love. That's love. That's husband status. That's it's important. Okay. Is it a deal breaker for you? Oh, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> only, only just because. <sighs> hey, you got to stick to, you got to stick to your roots, don't you? Baby, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You almost made it. <laughs> That's all good. So you said you That's explore. What, what does that mean? Um, yeah, he should be a little bit more specific. So like this month, for instance, so right now Ramadan's being celebrated. Okay. Um, and so that's something that I've been looking into because I do like the idea of fasting. Me too. Different things that- um, But you do know Christians have Lent, right? We have Lent. 
but I can understand the concept of fasting is what you're interested in and not necessarily participating in actual Ramadan. Y'all do realize Ramadan is for Muslims, right? I'm not saying you can't participate in what Muslims do, but if you want to fast and you're not a Muslim, then you're just fasting. If you are a Muslim, in this particular part of the year, you're fasting like all the other Muslims. You're celebrating in Ramadan. That's strictly their faith. So I just want to let you know, there's nothing wrong with fasting, but if you're not a Muslim, you can fast at any time of the year. Ramadan, specifically the name Ramadan, is for Muslims. Christians have something similar to that, not quite, but something similar. It's called Lent. Just aren't good for you, you know? So I don't necessarily have an attachment to any religion. If it has something that I guess um, that I vibe with, then I'll do it. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, I thought he was about to say some crystal shit. I thought he was about to say, oh, I love crystals and tarot cards and stuff. If he was going to say that, I was going to be like, hey, no, 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 no. But he said he, he said he likes fasting. Basically, that's what he just said. I don't know what fasting has to do with, because you're not a Muslim. So, but I get it. I get what, I get what you mean. Um, taking different practices from different religions and taking it into your own because you don't want to be tied to a specific religion is what he's saying. I used to believe the same thing. No, my life is already complicated why well, make religion in even more complicated by not just choosing a phase i'm not gonna lie to y'all when we say shit like that it just it's just even more complicated you're making life more complicated like it is so you're not like against it if you will i will say with christianity so i grew up christian mm-hmm. and i went to a catholic school but it was really rough for me so I think it's kind of like a childhood kind of thing. So that's why I'm not really gravitating towards Christianity. And I will say that when a man has not made a decision, that's a life in general. If he hasn't made a decision in other areas in his life, it is going to be hard for him to make a decision when it comes to you. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, like, it's hard for you to choose especially if he's trying to pull himself in all different directions. It's like, it's annoying. No. Like if you're a man and you have so many different jobs, I'm like, yo, like choose one. Right. You come home, you chose one woman. You chose however many kids, like you have a set way of how you want to do things. And there's nothing wrong with that. That just means that you're, you know what you want. All this, well, I don't know. You know, I I got five, six, seven jobs, and you know, uh, I don't like men like that. Cause you're supposed to be the man. You're supposed to be the head. You're you out of out of the whole family. You're supposed to be the one to know. As a kid, it was just rough. You know. Well, you know what? Me popping a balloon, that probably was my fault because I probably should have engaged more. Mm. Um, right. Because my father's side, like, majority is Muslim. Okay. And they're going through Ramadan right now. I've actually, like, studied it and I have a Quran as well. But You could have taught me. You know, to touch a little <laughs> razzle dazzle. But, you know, it's, it's not over. <laughs> but I just, I just want to, you know, make sure that, like, you. I feel like he's the type to have his head big as hell. He got a big head. Like. When you pop a balloon and then be like, you know what, I want to come back. Or you say, bye, I'm not talking to you again. And you leave and you come back and he's in his head. He's like, yeah, I got you. Like, I feel like, I feel like he's one of those big head ego. He is the way and the only way. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. So 
With him being open-minded to that, is that still something that's a deal breaker for you? I think we can have an open conversation. Ooh. Are we getting that balloon back? Can you give me a balloon back? Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you that. Let me bring you up here. Let's come up here. Ah. <laughs> I'll have you stand right here. Hey, there's a man. <laughs> like all right, so Marvin says she is open-minded to it. Did you all have any final questions for one another before we determine if this is a yes? No, I think I'm, I'm willing to you you know, get to know him a little bit. Okay, no. so is it going to be a yes for you for him? I would say he, he heard a yes. Okay, yes for you for her? Yeah. We got yeah. a match! <laughs> all right, I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Take this. Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Maurice. Maurice? Yeah, but I go by poet. By poet? Yeah. Okay. How old are you? 25. 25. Oh, and what do you do? Oh my God. This another. I'm 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 artistic type of guy, and I'm a singer. I'm a rapper. I'm a poet. I like I like to DJ. I like to model. I'm on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, kind of guys. Uh, I make music full time. I'm a model. <laughs> I also do videography. <laughs> Yo, I guessed it. I guessed it. Y'all, let me go back. Y'all read said. Hold on. A poet. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? Twenty five. Twenty five. And what do you do? Uh, I make music full time. I'm a model. <laughs> You can just tell, bro. You can, even with the name, my nickname Poet. <laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? Like, be fucking for real, bro. I also do videography, mm -hmm. and I also, what is it called? I do traveling full time too. See, he don't know. <laughs> he don't know. He don't even know what he do. That's what I keep saying, bro. People that be having a lot of shit going on, I'm be like, bro, like having so many different jobs. It's like, bro, you don't know what you want. You don't, especially a man. Like for a woman, I can understand because women, we have a knack for putting our womanly touch on so many different things and it, it'd be okay. But for a man, why are you doing so many different things? And everything that they do, like has nothing to do with each other like at least if you're a handyman you could say oh i build houses that's with handyman i'm a mechanic i'm a handyman I've, uh, i can fix a toilet handyman i can uh build a um a bassinet i can build a crib i can build a bed handyman these men with these artistic type of jobs like, I'm just like, bro, like, what can I do with that? Yeah, all right. And now, Paul, what do you look for in a woman? Um, someone that is adventurous. I like um, a person who's intelligent, that understands what they want. Mm -hmm. He don't even know what he want. He don't even know what he do. She asked him, what does he do? And he said, um, uh, what is it? Uh, traveling. Uh, someone that has a connection with God. Um, who's into traveling, someone who's, matter of fact, that actually really has a purpose too. Okay. That actually cares about life as well. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This is not interesting to me. The fact that these women got these balloons still unpopped is crazy. This is what makes you, this is what gets you? This is what gets you? Ladies, this is what gets you? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Nothing what of what he said made me be like, mm, a man, a man. Like, what? This dude said he was a poet. You gonna hit him up tomorrow and be like, what you doing? He gonna be like, nothing, writing poetry. <laughs> and you gonna be like, oh, I'm just coming from work. Like, what kind of dynamic is that? Like, 
No, maybe, maybe I'm boring. Maybe I'm boring because I like guys that have an actual job, bro. I don't want you to be a rapper, a DJ, or none of that shit, bro. I don't want you to care about Instagram and social media more than I do. I don't. Don't. So everything that he said is just like, ugh, no. No, not you writing poetry and I'm about to clock into work. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> and this, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I keep pausing the video, but this lets you know what kind of women they are. The only one that popped the balloon so far is a woman in a red dress because she gets it. She gets it. Why would you want to date a poet? Like, and why would a man feel like it's acceptable to approach a woman with a job and a career and say, I am a poet? All right, if we can have your name and age. Yes, Alexis, I'm 29. All right, Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, you're a very handsome gentleman. I love the fit, I love your energy as well. Um, just physically not my type. Okay. I agree. Oh, right. And physically, um, what is your usual type and what is what does he fall into? Um, athletic. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, going back to what I said, bro, how is my man supposed to support me and the baby that he gives me and support a ring, give me a ring, support a household off of being a poet? <laughs> is Alexis your type? Um... I don't, I don't really know to be honest like I he don't know anything y'all he's a poet he don't know she asked him what do you do he said oh uh uh what is that uh traveling what do you look for in a woman oh uh, mm, uh intelligence what do you not like about her uh um I don't know <laughs> <laughs> serious girl like be fucking for real like oh my gosh yo <laughs> and I'll be cracking jokes on the women too bro so Bro, you can't be serious, bro. All the real men in the comment section, bro. Like, y'all looking at him like, what the fuck? Of course he don't know what he want. The fact that there's still women in the back, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, those women in the back. Yo, never mind, bro. I, I don't fuck with none of y'all. This, this lady right here with the red dress, she know. She know what's up. but. Look, and look at him. What, why, do you, why do you think he looked like that? The last guy was talking about being in the military, although he had other stuff that he do that were hobbies I didn't give a fuck about. But his main occupation is being in the Air Force. He talked about being in shape. He know how to swim. He know how to run. If something gonna happen, he gonna protect you. What the fuck do you think this nigga about to do? He about to spit some poetry. <laughs> If something happened to you, bro, he not running to you. <laughs> he gotta finish his line, bro. Oh my gosh. I bet you he never go to sleep, bro. He's always up just writing lyrics, bro. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with the joke. I'm done. I'm done. You go with energy, so. Um, the athletic thing, no, I am athletic. I've done uh, three different topics. <laughs> Yo, look at <laughs> Look at the look at the woman in the blue dress. She's right there. <laughs> Bro, and nobody popped their balloon in the back. Bro, y'all playing y'all desperate.
Y'all gotta be desperate. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. This nigga just said I'm athletic. <laughs> So delusional, bro. I can't take him serious, bro. I knew I couldn't take him serious. As soon as he said my name, da 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 da, but my nickname, Poet. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm done, 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 done. It's in high school. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. And he think he doing something. Look, look. He's a pretty boy. He's a pretty boy. He think he doing something. Looking his lips in. And gazing at you in your eyes, he think he he think he doing something. Now nah, I see right past that, bro. <laughs> right, I thank like that. you. Right. Okay, thank you. Let's go on down Finally, over here. We did popped. get a popped balloon. If we can have your name and age. My name is Heaven. I'm 25. And Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? You're very well spoken. You mm -hmm. are attractive. It's just I don't feel like we would be a connection. He a baddie for real. He he uses his looks. I know some men be like, women be using their looks to get by. Bro, we women. What about the men that want to be baddies, bro? The men that want to be the women. Where's my flowers? Your woman is supposed to be the one at home writing poetry. Why are you at home writing poetry? I guarantee you the women he date. Bro, I don't even know, bro. Imagine being a woman coming home from your nine to five and your nigga at home writing poetry, bro. Like, it just makes it you feel that way. Sorry. Just off of, based off of just attraction level and things like that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And now, poet, is she your type? Um, respectfully, no. Okay. And why not? Um, oh, my fault. <laughs> Maybe, I guess just a tiny bit too much makeup. If you just come as you are, then that's perfect. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right, okay, so we do still have five balloons unpopped. Thanks. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on over to you. So I'm gonna have you hold this. Wow. And <laughs> did you have a question for the ladies to help you narrow it down? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, all the women with the balloons up right now, you're desperate. You're desperate. There's no way you should still have your balloon up right now. Dang, hold up. Um, You're delusional. What is like the purpose that you have inside of your life? What do you want to do? All right, let's start right over Nigga, here. what the fuck do you want to do? I know he not about to ask them what they want to do. What do you want to do? You can't tell me the next five to 10 years you see yourself writing poetry. Like what? In, in uh, 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 what, what is it called? Traveling. You can have your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Sakari. I'm 30. Um, a purpose. I mean, I feel like that's a good question. <laughs> Bro, I don't care what nobody says. And this is what sh it should be and how it should be. Every woman's purpose is, bro, to get married and have a family. That's, that's what your purpose is supposed to be. Everything you're doing in between the marriage and the kids it's what's building, helping you up, lifting to be the best wife and to be the best mother you could be one day. All women should have the same goal and purpose as what I just said. So if men be like, these girls, all, these girls all the same. They all want the same thing. Yes. Duh. We're ladies. We're women. We want marriage. We want kids. So to the women out there lying, I don't want to get married. I don't want to have kids. I want to have kids, but I don't want to get married. Stop. Stop. So every one of y'all women, y'all are making that, that he's asking these, this question to in this video that hasn't popped their balloon because they're delusional as fuck. All y'all answers should be, I see myself getting married and having kids. At what time frame does that look like to you? Like... But obviously, you can't say that to a man like this, because what will he have to offer you and your kids in the next five to 10 years? He doesn't even have a career. He literally didn't even name a job. He didn't even name a career. He said photography. He said poetry. Then he gave us his Instagram, his nickname. 
uh, he likes to travel with what money off of being a poet like to inspire others to touch others in some sort of way i think my purpose here in life is literally to make someone else's life better it advance more just exactly you know you're saying some bullshit because like i said women automatically our answer should be is to get married and have kids everything else we you say and try to sugarcoat it's bullshit okay why do you think i'm here age and the answer to his question my name is ashley i'm 29 and um honestly i've experienced a lot i've done a lot i've been through a lot good and bad and I just feel like what I've experienced is meant to inspire and teach other young ladies or men too because I have a lot of brothers so you know um so really I truly think my purpose here is to explain a more wisdom-filled way of experiencing life okay. yeah girl you don't know what you want you know what this video made me realize is that Maybe I know what I want. I just haven't found the person that I'm looking for because I feel like this shit isn't hard. Dating shouldn't be this hard. You know, um, finding somebody that wants the same thing as you shouldn't be hard. If you know what you want, it shouldn't be hard. Not being able to answer a simple question like, oh, like, what do you see yourself in the next couple of years? What are your future? And being like, uh, 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 like, I get it. I get it. We can't see what tomorrow brings as much as a lot of people like to think they might be able to see it. But all of that shit can change in a second. We can change the future based off our actions and decisions we make today. But I still know what I want. <laughs> Like, I know what I want to work towards. You don't have to necessarily know everything, but you need to have what you're working towards. This man has not said that he is working towards marriage. He did not say that he was working towards kids. He did not say he was working on having a house. He was working on having a career that is stable to be able to take care of his kids and his wife. Based off of that answer alone, if you if he was if he this this man specifically was to ask me what am i looking for and and what am i going to do for the next couple of years i'm like what are you doing nothing okay all right next man and i'm going to save my spiel for the man that knows what he wants like i'm not even going to entertain this conversation the balloon would already been popped i don't know why they haven't popped a balloon yet that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> okay. And his video made me realize that a lot of women aren't good at detecting bullshit from men early on. You know, you would save yourself a lot of dates and meaningless conversations if you would have just asked this man some simple questions. This this is what makes these videos interesting. It I take it to account what's actually going on in the video and i actually try to relate it to real life and how i can implement it in my dating life not just watch this for entertainment too as well y'all like i'm actually listening i'm actually paying attention you know and it made me realize that not just him but they don't know what they want either they're delusional as fuck to even be blindsided by a dude like him like and i'm not even trying to jock him or or be mean and stuff maybe he does have a real job and he's not saying what it is but it's like not leading with that it's still like makes me feel like maybe you're not proud of your actual job like you know and i'll take a man with a nine to five any day name age and answer this question uh, my name is leah i'm 28 years old um well i'm currently at lnd rn and i want to become a midwife and i really want to serve the black community um, mm -hmm. because i see how they get treated in the healthcare system and it's just not giving mm -hmm. and I want to be the one that is giving and imagine being a midwife and your husband is a poet imagine as a woman going into your job of being a midwife 
and everybody sees a ring on your finger and says, oh my God, you got married. Tell us about it. Well, he's a poet. He's at home right now. Oh. Everybody's there like, oh. Her man is a poet. Oh my God. You see, you see Jessica? She just, she got, she got married to a poet. Oh my God. Like, I know you shouldn't care what people think, but I'm just, I'm being silly, but I'm saying, you, you get, y'all get what I mean. One of my purposes. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> Ask him what his purpose is. Name, age, and age. Ain't nobody ask him what his purpose is? Bro, I cannot. Question. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Mm -hmm. um, I think my life's purpose is to give off good energy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they Oh, my God. There's Noah. And I've been looking at her the entire time, bro. Something's wrong with her. I've been looking at her this entire 27 minutes and 12 seconds of the video and something's wrong with her for real. I think she, something might be wrong. Just a little bit. Like people that intentionally are put on this earth to drain you mm -hmm. that are just like, like what? vampires that suck the energy and. Like what? As a guy, what about what she just said made you think, oh yeah, that's smart. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe that up. Yeah, I'm gonna give it kids. Like, go back, listen to what she said. Energy. Mm -hmm. Some the answer to this question. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Mm -hmm. um, I think my life's purpose is to give off good energy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's like people that intentionally are put on this earth to drain you mm -hmm. that are just like vampires that suck the energy and. I just feel like I can transfer that to people. So they're always happy. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you want to do with your life purpose is heal all the broken people in the world. So what are you going to do when you're not doing that? Like, what is your personal goal for yourself? I know a lot of people might hear what she just said and be like, oh my God. No, no, save your love, your effort, your time and energy to the people that love you. You can help strangers. Yes. But if you're not putting that much energy that you're giving to other people into yourself, you'll never have anything and you'll be drained. Right. Name, age and the answer to this question. My name is Angel. I'm 23. Um, I'm currently in the military. Mm -hmm. So I feel like my purpose is what I'm doing right now to serve your country, you know. Okay. Um, I would like to be uh, OBYGN. Mm -hmm. I would like to help okay. like, deliver babies or work okay. with children. I love kids, you know, help mm -hmm. with kids that might be in a foster home or something like that, you know. Just give Out of everything, she is the only woman that actually gave a good answer. You know, that is a beautiful answer. I can understand why a man would want to wife her up and want to be with her. But the fact that she didn't pop her balloon for this man shows that something might be wrong. Place to stay or, you know, whatever I can to like help out in the community or whatever. Because the fact that you want to be an OBGYN and you, and you want your husband to be a poet that claims the, that he's athletic. Hey, if y'all both want to be delusional together, you can, but maybe she's not delusional in her life, but when it comes to picking a man, she is. But she's, that was the best answer that everybody, yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. All right. All right, Poet. Those are some good answers. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so whose balloon are you popping based off of what you've heard? How many am I popping? Um, let's go ahead pop and have you pop one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know, it's hard. I mean, it is crazy because men that be watching my videos couldn't, I see the comments that told me to react to this video. So I'm re sorry I'm reacting to this video so late because I'll be working and I'm sick and stuff like that. But y'all can, y'all know he on bullshit, bro. Y'all know, y'all just know. And if you don't think he on bullshit, bro, you're just like him, bro. You can't tell me this man ain't on bullshit, bro. Any man with ripped jeans. <laughs> Trust. 
<laughs> he wear any type of no. A man with ripped jeans. No, no, no. The answer because mm-hmm. I do really care about um, like for me, like I I make music, so mm-hmm. I want to genuinely I want to change like the world and actually have an impact that can actually do something. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay, this is probably one. And of here's them. the thing about the people that be wanting to change the world. They have all these ideas about, and, and, and these wants and the desires to help people, help people. And then you ask them if they want to get married. They're like, mm, kids, they're like, hmm. Well, with how the world is going, I don't think I want to have kids. It's like they want more for everybody else but themselves. You ask them personal questions and they're always stumped. I promise you. Ask somebody right now that you know that's like, my purpose is to help the world and take care of them. Ask them personal questions about, like deep personal questions about themselves, what they want, and I guarantee you, they will have no clue. Majority of them will have no clue. (laughs) Yeah, go for it. I'm so sorry. (laughs) How do you do that? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you ended up popping this one because I guess the answer and more likely cuz I mean, I guess for being just spreading good energy is to be like a natural thing. And oh my god. It's so boring, y'all. I hope I'm making this video entertainment because the energy energy answers are so annoying, bro. Like when are we going to stop going off of energy and go off of facts? The whole vibes, energy shit. It just gets annoying, bro. That's all everybody wants to talk about. As long as the vibes are good. You know? What about if a person is a terrible person? But because their vibe is good. Like, we can't just go strictly off of vibes. The one thing that I kind of do with my music, I really... I don't know. I want to be able to impact people past just the basics, you know? Yeah. How many times is he going to say that? You see what I'm saying? And the only question that he had to ask them was some meaningless question. He didn't ask them, are you trying to get married? Are you trying to have kids? Like, yo, I'm so over this video. (laughs) And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Poet? He is very calming. And I'm big on energy. From the moment he walked in, like, I just felt calm. And I like to be at peace with people. And if I- you read her body language, she keeps shrugging her shoulders like, I don't know, I don't know. Because she don't know. Like, I could just, like, be under you all day. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what you're going to do when you're dating a poet. You're going to be up under him all day, baby. All day. Mm-hmm. And when you're not, you're going to go to work. And he's going to be there. And then when you get back home, you're going to lay up under him all day. All day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank okay. you. <laughs> like, why, okay. why, why, why does she think that was a cute answer? Like, I don't know. I, I want my man at work. I'll see you, babe, when you get back. Ladies, does any one of you have a question for him? Just because you've mentioned music more than your other things mm-hmm. that you've mentioned, exactly what kind of music do you make? Um, like well, what genre, what type of thing do you talk about? Ashley, okay. baby, girl. Nobody asked him what he wanted to do in the next five, ten years. But you want to know what kind of music he makes? Ashley. Ashley Banks. You really are Ashley Banks now. You're living up to your name. Ashley Banks. Um, I'm kind of like multifaceted, so I want to be able to do, well, right now I actually do R&B, hip hop, so like I try to get into conscious stuff as much as possible. Mm-hmm. I mostly share the way how I feel through my music and the way that the world is. I like to be able to 
really spread awareness about the th how things are actually really going because nowadays like we talk about like different type of wars and different stuff that's going mm -hmm. on like it's just another day but it's right. as valuable as this moment right here so i guess i like introspective emotional connections you know i like he talk like he's on stage i don't like inside my music okay mm -hmm. that's all i have just <laughs> and that intrigued you oh my god like ashley banks come on anyone else anyone else ask him a good question all right so poet no looks like they don't have any questions what uh, yeah you should have them at least that's what i'm saying y'all all right y'all so desperate you bro the women with the kids y'all may be a little bit desperate because i'm i'm talking about the women and the kids in the video because they ain't got no questions now let's see what the girl was saying when it came to the first contestant now i see what the girl was saying but yeah, when the shoe is on the other foot, she want to keep her balloon on pop. She seems weird now. Any kids or uh, no. anything like that? Okay. I have no kids. No kids. Y'all notice I'll that? The girl with the red uh, crop top jersey, she was about to go with the first contestant, but she did it because he didn't ask him a question. But now that the shoe is on the other foot, she finds not. <sighs> Why is shit so, so complicated? Why is it so complicated? I don't know. I don't know. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Hey. Right. Oh, we got a question right over here. Mm -hmm. So what is, does the jewelry that mm -hmm. you wear like in your ear or mm -hmm. um, in your hair mean anything? You got to be kidding me, bro. This is what you wanted to ask. Are you serious? Look at Arlette's face. She's like, bro, you got to be fucking kidding me, bro. Y'all don't want to ask him a serious question? There's no way, bro. There's no, and y'all and y'all have kids. And the fact that y'all really thinking about seeing this guy as a potential? If anything, y'all should be the ones that don't want him the most. I don't see how. I don't see how a person with kids would want to date an artist, a musician that's going to be on the road all the time. That's not even the father of your kids, bro. He's going to be just as gone as the father of your kids. I know I'm being, I sound harsh, but I'm being fucking for real. What can a poet? provide for you and your kids is it just kind of like aesthetic um no i'm like a i'm more of a like a spiritually in tune person oh so like God. i like to express how my soul is through like my aesthetic as like who i am you know i'm done okay so what do you mean by spiritual like what is so that? like i care about having a personal connection with god okay and i don't uh i like to pursue him personally instead of having to have outside influence i was doing that when i was a younger kid but i like to actually have like my personal in-depth like connection with them okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, one thing i learned about being a christian is if they don't say the name jesus oh okay i like the henna though oh thank you <laughs> okay and now what made you ask that question are you a religious person or are you also spiritual I, i'm more I guess on the religious side, but mm -hmm. I understand you when you say that you, you know, you need to be kind of connected with God. Mm -hmm. um, I guess like, I don't understand him because if you're not religious and you're connected to a God, what God? What God are you connected to? This is exactly why I say, unless they say the name Jesus, then we're not talking about the same person. We're not talking about the same God because God I know is Jesus father is probably going to be a deal breaker because you just like associated like your jewelry like you know with god and no, i just my don't personal it's my personal expression so my personal expression god made every person inside of his likeness and so my personal expression and my spirituality it i'm showing my spirit through who i am as a person why are we talking about spirituality with a man that does not have a career
with a man that thinks he he's athletic. I just don't understand. I mean, at the end of the day, you can have, I don't like go against any other person's religion. I fully support whatever you guys are doing. And I don't like that. I want a man to be like, no, I'm a Muslim. I'm looking for this. I'm a Christian. I'm looking for this. Like, it's okay to be rooted in your faith. I just like to have a personal But he has no faith. You want to know why? Because you could just tell he has no faith. Just based off of how he talks, what he's looking for. He don't know what he's looking for. He don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing in the next five to ten years. And if you ask him, he's going to say some bullshit. He done talked about music 50, 11 times. He don't talk about nothing deep. He, there's no meaning when he talks. Like, this is just the most lame guy. Because I've, I've been through a lot. <laughs> So you said, I'm sorry, hold on. So you said that was a deal breaker for you? I just, I just don't, I just don't understand it. I'm okay. trying to like correlate. Like, There's nothing to understand about her. Just think about it. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Let me ponder on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Ashley said you had a question. Um, I mean, only because a relationship with God is something that's important for me too. Mm -hmm. So now this is where you get a little bit more in depth because mm -hmm. there's God, but God is God to whoever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, do you, is, objective. is it? Jesus Christ? Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Ashley. You get Ashley right now. I'm not calling you Ashley Banks with that question. Ashley. Me? Or is it just, you know, the gods of this world? Um. Based off of what we know about him and what he's been saying, what do you think he's going to say? Me personally? I know for a fact that he is not going to say Jesus. He's going to say God of the universe. You want to know why? Because you can tell. You can tell. I'm the type of person that I don't like to push upon a name or anything. See? If I don't know anything, and then at the same time, See? if I don't know the, like, I like to go into backgrounds. I like to learn about different See? backgrounds of mm. different religions. What is up with men doing this shit, bro? I don't, and it's not even just men, it's people in general, bro. All that, I don't like to choose one religion. Mind y'all, I used to be the same way. I used to be that. But then I got older, and I got real. I got realistic. I guarantee you, if some of y'all on this video go back and re, some of y'all that are in this video, if y'all go back and rewatch yourself and listen to what he's saying, you're gonna be like, ugh, and actually listening to him. And the way that some of them are actually based upon. I rather have a connection that's solely he will speak to me, he will show me how He don't even know what he's talking about. Like I'm not fucking with a man like that, no. Nah. And he's saying he I don't know who he talking to. Who he nah. The moment he's the moment she asked him if the guy he serves is the father of Jesus and he said, uh, I just knew. I just knew. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. No, nice, that's completely cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So why did we end up popping? Um, I think you're very calming. I kind of want you to put me to sleep because your <laughs> voice is just very soothing. And I love that. I think mm -hmm. you're handsome. But um, I'm on my own journey mm -hmm. um, with God currently mm -hmm. and God only, nobody else. So the mm -hmm. fact that you kind of said otherwise what? What was mean? just not for me. What do you mean by that? Because you were more so like, um, I just kind of dip into different religions. Like, I'm not dipping into no, anything. No, I learn about different religions. That's how I actually got to the place that I am right now. I learn about different religions, and I've taken on the actual, like, identity of trying to get to know him himself. That's you want to know something? Because I used to say the same shit. Everything that he just said, I used to say that. People will be like, I want to study different religions. Study different religions and still don't choose one. What was the purpose? 
what is the purpose of studying all these religions and not choose one? Because you're bullshit. And you know damn well. Sorry. Let me not curse. I'm working on it. You know well that you did not study every religion. You know you ain't study every religion. But you want to lie to me and say you study every religion? And that after, and still, because you're trying to make this make sense in your head, still, after you studied every religion, you didn't choose one? Get the fuck, bro. Just bye. Go. And mind you, I used to say the same shit. I used to say the same shit. Until I grew up and I realized what I was saying. And I was like, Jasmine, this shit don't make sense. You're saying this? You're, hear yourself. Hear what you're saying. Think about what you're saying before you're saying it. What he just said didn't make sense. When you say I studied every religion only to not choose one. And you know he don't make sense because, because all the areas in his life don't make sense either. I'm starting to realize that when you have a connection with God, specifically Jesus, it makes sense. Things make sense. It just does. When you're talking to a God that knows what he wants, things make sense. He don't gotta uh mm, huh i don't know it just makes sense no one else i don't need to do all that uh dipping and dying Good job. different things okay mm. <laughs> finally <laughs> i'm so glad everybody popped a balloon <laughs> why did we end up popping um because yeah i'm really big on god yeah. I'm really big on the Lord. I was raised up in a church. I sung mm -hmm. in a choir. I praised dance. Mm -hmm. So when you said that, that threw me off a little bit too. And it makes sense because she's in the Air Force. So I believe her when she say that. I respect it by all means. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Everybody has their own, you know, who they serve. But mm -hmm. me personally, I serve one God. Mm -hmm. I serve one too. But trust Amen. me. Amen. At the end, of, at the end of the day, I don't. But like, we don't know don't who God you serve to. Anybody, I don't have, right. I don't like have no static against anything that anyone else believes. Mm -mm. Okay. What I believe is there's a lot of different things that has happened within different type of religions. No. And to have real respect to And you still ain't choose one. I want to have that connection with him. That's it. What he said Can didn't I... make not a fucking look of sense. Listen to what the fuck he's... I just want y'all to hear how stupid he sound. And hopefully he's watching this video. You need to hear how stupid you sound, bro. At the end of, at the like, end of the day. Listen to, listen to what he's saying. It makes no sense. Like, I don't shame anybody. I don't have, right. I don't, like, have no static against anything that anyone else believes. Okay. What I believe is there's a lot of different things that has happened within different type of religions. And to have real respect to the true God, I want to have that connection with him. That's it. If you think that made sense, you're not a supporter of me. You're not a subscriber of me. You gotta go somewhere else with that bullshit. Go to his, go to his YouTube page, his Insta, his Instagram page. Go follow him. If you support that, you, me and you, we know that. I'm not gonna cap. For me to be put out off of religion is crazy. <laughs> Listen, because that's a it's big. Cool that's, you have I mean, to understand, I, though. I, understand, I know I completely understand it, but it's the one thing is I show respect to other people's religions. And, and right. the fact that he thinks that you're not showing him respect right now because you choose not to date him based off of his religion, mind you, she didn't say anything disrespectful to him. That says a lot about his character, bro. He got something is wrong with him, bro. Please show respect to the fact of you do whatever right. feels great to you. But at the end of the day, I have my connection with the higher power. And that's so. the thing, bro. 
if we're coming together to be husband and wife and having kids, which I guarantee you that's not something he want for him for him in his life. Because if he did, he would be working on that right now, building on that. But to say your religion is your religion is my religion is my religion and we can be okay with that. But in a relationship, married kids, y'all have to have at least very similar beliefs. It can't be on both sides of the spectrums. It won't work. You know, well, you know what? Let me not say it won't work because through Jesus, sometimes he performs miracles. Understand what is really gonna put me for you? Know I, mean? I understand that, and you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Like you're so, he is calm. He's very calm. But I'm from, I'm from Georgia, and no, in the that. South, that's where I was raised up. Mm -hmm. So it's like religion is a big, big thing. Same. I get so, you. Like I, you know, I really, I'm not understand. perfect. I, no, no, no. Trust me, I, I'm far from perfect as well. Definitely. And I guess. I guess the one thing that I don't have, I guess. Uh, the type of oh. words to be able to put upon against this situation mm. is just more of the fact that I respect and acknowledge and at the same time give the grace and respect to what people believe in. I understand. What I'm saying is this. Oh my God. Throughout every person's perspective and how I feel about how, like I have with my connection with how you guys think it's at the end of the day, I really do. You see what, y'all, He's talking in circles. He's talking in loops. You want to know why? Because he doesn't make sense. That's why I said, if y'all understand where he's coming from and y'all agree with him, y'all need to get off my channel because I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. See? Big time. It's okay. Whenever it's... And let this be a lesson. Whenever it's that hard... For you to get something off your ch that hard? The question was if you believe in Jesus or not. And the fact that he got to go through the, the depth of in, deep down inside of him just to answer a simple question. And then when women are rejecting him based off the fact that he doesn't believe in Jesus, he's like, wait, whoa, 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 don't judge me. Don't judge me. Give me grace. Give me grace. They didn't judge you. They did give you grace. They were actually very respectful. Walk away. Why are you still here? He doesn't take rejection very well. Just saying, because like for me, it's it's really personal. Because like I've went, I literally have like went through the dirt and mud, and my whole life has been up down. I've, in in a way, not to be too truthful or anything. Mm -hmm. I've been homeless for like six years. Mm -hmm. Like I've went through so. The truth comes out. The truth came out. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told you. Bro, my discernment skills, they're getting better. They're getting better. Because I knew from, from since he opened his mouth, something was wrong. I knew it. The way he wasn't talking about anything serious except for music, he didn't say anything. He didn't say if he wanted kids. He didn't say if he was, if he wanted marriage. He didn't say what he was what his plans are five ten years all he talked about the entire time was music music i just knew it i 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 knew it trials and tribulations and the connections that i've made i went through different churches i went to mm -hmm. different type of religions to try to find out a way how to be able to come back and actually understand certain things and the one thing is this man is very he need to go heal bro like and i'm not saying that in a mean way some people say that in a mean way but he need to go heal he got a lot of shit there's absolutely no way there's no way and you like i could just tell bro i feel like god has had a time to be able to talk to me and tell me <laughs> the one thing you should do is stop worrying about what how you're getting to him the, pr the producer need to step in and be like okay all right your time is up bro we still got like 45 minutes left like they need to cut people off when they talking because they just go on and on just speak to him in general 
Right. Not them, not, I mean, it's whatever you feel, but at the end of the day, it's like, speak to him in general. Right. Not them, not, I mean, it's whatever you feel, but at the end of the day, it's like, I love the connection that I have. He gave me the blessing to be able to be right here today. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I respect every single person. Who is he? He just said he didn't believe in Jesus. I don't know who he's referring to. Don't amen to that. Ladies, don't amen to that. This freaking panel, <laughs> I respect you and the people that helped me to get onto this thing. Please leave. Bye. I legitimately, I will not tarnish anybody else's connection or go against anything that you guys are going against. Yeah. So that's why I, I feel like at the end of the day, I okay. respect what you guys do. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, poet, Bye. that's all the balloons pop. So yeah. sorry we weren't able to find your match today, but thank you so much for coming on. No, of course. Thank all you. right, ladies, let's give it up for him. The fact that they found a homeless guy to come over here and find love, they really do be giving people opportunity up here, bro. I just saved y'all from a homeless man. And y'all didn't even know it until after. And he wasn't even gonna tell you, bro. That shit, you had to drag it out of him for him to say he was he's homeless, bro. No wonder why you was homeless, because you ain't have no job. Like, the fuck? All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Finally. Finally. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you take this. Why you walk in like that? <laughs> What's your name? Cedric. What was that? Cedric. Cedric, how old are you? I just turned 31. 31, okay. Yeah. And what do you do? You look shy. I'm a sports agent and I work in sports media. Sorry. <laughs> What's your name? Cedric. What was that? Cedric. Cedric, how old are you? I just turned 31. 31, okay. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a sports agent and I work in sports media. Okay, all right. And now what do you look for in a woman? Um, just good qualities, um, you know, high value woman, pretty okay. much. Um, like, as long as she can clean, pretty much, um, <laughs> everything else I can pretty okay. much manage. All right, cool. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name, age, and Angel. why you ended up popping your balloon. Angel, 23. It's just um the attraction. I, I was just not attracted. I'm sorry. Respect. All. All right. And is there anything that in specific? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's just overall, I just wasn't attracted. Okay. Respect. <laughs> All right, and now is she your type? Uh, you, what you looking back at? Man. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm just saying, like, oh, sorry, like. Mm -mm. Are you attracted to me? You are, huh? It seems like you're. No, you cool. Like it's. Yo, the girl with the red dress. Every time she hears something she don't like, her eyes be like. Look at her. She hears something she don't like. She be like, look. Dang, look so at you don't look bad. Mm -hmm. like, so she, it's a yes or no question. <laughs> she like, I dare you. <laughs> look, look. She, the, the girl with the red dress. She like, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to say what you, that you like her body. Her, you like her. You like her. I'm a pop spoon right now. Everybody like, look, I dare you. I dare you. Far. <laughs> it seemed like you're. No, you cool. Like, it's, like you ain't. Like, you don't look bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a yes or no question. Are you attracted or you are not? No, you you cool. Like I would like I would talk to you, but like I wouldn't take you like serious. What? Yo, I was not expecting that. But then again, you know, ugly niggas, they don't take rejection very well. That's the only reason why he said that. All right. Our friends on YouTube. Okay. So respect. We, respect. Right, respect. All right, player. <laughs> uh, you're tripping. She's bad, bro. Let's go right over here. If we can have your name, age, and why you ended up popping. Um, I'm Leah. I'm 28. Um, the fact that you kind of just told her that you'll talk to her, but you want to take her serious, it's like, it's kind of like your agenda is not very clear. Right. And I want somebody who's clear about me. Respect. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? Yeah. Okay. And what makes her your type? 
And she look good. Okay. She look nice. That's all he going off of. Okay. okay. All right, cool. Okay, your name, age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Sakari. I'm 30. And, um, yeah, it was just the, you know, you you look straight behind that that was the first thing and you was just like um <laughs> that was it that that was it respect. yeah just that's respect too physical okay yeah. that's respect yeah. <laughs> all right and now is she your type yeah definitely oh definitely okay so what makes her your type i mean she look good like <laughs> she look nice Let me have to yeah no respect no she look nice for real real talk I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sick, so if I'm sniffling, yeah. All right, so Cedric, we yeah. do still have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have a question to ask the ladies to help you narrow it down? Yeah, um, y'all got kids? Yes. All three of y'all? All three. Okay, how many kids y'all got? Okay, let's start right here. Yeah. All right, if we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. I'm Ashley, 29, I have two. You got two kids? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> How many kids you got? All right, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Sinceri, I'm 27, I have one kid. Why okay. are you looking at my... I'm just, I'm, I'm looking. He's analyzing. He's analyzing. <laughs> I'm looking. All right, if we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Alexis, I'm 29, and I have two kids. Okay. Okay, and now Cedric, are kids a deal breaker for you? No, I'm just, you know, I'm just asking. Okay. I'm asking questions, you know what I'm so, do you have any kids? Yeah, I got one. He has one yeah, kid. I got one, you know. I'm just asking the question, like, how many kids they got. That's all. Okay, all right. So, yeah. do, all right, now, ladies, do you guys have a question for Cedric? Next contestant. So, we can go ahead and. That's just a simple question. You say you're in sports, right? Yes. Okay. What? kind of sport is it football basketball 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 okay yeah, mostly you travel a lot uh yes i travel a lot i do okay is that concerning <laughs> should that be concerning like no traveling okay no i can imagine that his baby mama probably have his kid a lot so i'm just worried about how would he be an active father when he's traveling a lot you know That's not a concern. Nothing. It's just very basic questions. Okay. That's all. <laughs> all right, ladies, any question from you all? Yeah. Okay, let's go right down here. Where do you currently live? I live downtown. Phoenix? Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you asked that, I'm guessing, because of traveling? Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I live downtown Phoenix. Yes. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and ask the ladies a question for you. All right, so ladies, what would you say is your best characteristic? Ooh, best characteristic? I don't know. Probably because I'm just really, I'm really sweet. I, I'm very open-minded to a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I take bull crap. It is what it is. But I think just because I'm genuinely caring of people's thoughts and processes. Yeah. Uh -huh. My charisma. Ooh. I feel like people gravitate towards me naturally. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'd have to say my empathy. Mm. I've been through a lot, so I'm very understanding. Okay. Mm -hmm. We gotta get rid of this. Everybody, men and women, stop saying I've been through a lot. It's okay. You don't have to say it. I'm pretty sure most humans have been through a lot. Or human. You don't even need to say it. All right, Cedric, so based off those, those responses that we got, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of the ladies' balloons. If I can see your toothpick. Thank you. I'm going to hand that over to you. You said pop. Them. Yeah, so you're going to go ahead and pop one of the ladies' balloons based off of the answers that you've heard so far. So which one out of the three are you feeling the least? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anytime you're ready. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to choose wisely. Okay, yeah. They're good options. I don't blame you. Or if you have, no, actually, I'm going to make you pop. We'll have an answer once you pop. We'll have, 
ask a question once you pop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Mm. He's not that good looking, bro. I can't Come on, see. Cedric. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop her. All right. So why'd you end up popping hers? Nah, she look good. It just, you know. I'm just... <laughs> Damn. I'm not going to lie. Y'all would have been good together. You in a black jumpsuit? They would have been good together. They on that type of vibe. Both of them. Yeah. So, yeah. And oh. Hey, man, man, they pop. But... <laughs> Respect, but no, she look good, you know. It's just out of them two. They were more of your more of your type. More my type, oh. exactly. Okay. If, if that makes sense, you know. <laughs> All right, why do we end up popping? I don't feel like he can carry a conversation. It's always respect. She looks good. Please mm -hmm. give me more. I want to talk to you and get to know you as a person. Okay, respect. And I feel like you're a little bit <laughs> shallow, just a little bit. You won't stop staring at my boobs for one. I ain't even staring at your boobs. I'm staring at your face. I'm looking okay, at you. Okay, but I've seen you go like this a couple of times. More than I once, mean, more I'm than once, at, more than once. Okay. I'm at That's a little man. shallow for me, sweetie. Respect. <laughs> I, you know, I ain't got no choice but to respect you. Respect. Okay. You know? Please. Move on. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, Ashley, why did we end up popping? Um, I ended up popping one. Like the responses, I did want to hear a little bit more to kind of get my brain going and what to kind of feed off of, but it just wasn't anything for me to kind of gravitate to, so that's why. Okay. Oh, all right, Cedric, yes. that's all the balloons popped. No. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank all you. right, ladies, I let's give it up. I was this fast for the last guy. That last guy was irritating. Him. I'll take that. Right. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to go away. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Please let this be good, bro. Please. Oh, right on over here. Okay, right. <laughs> Welcome in. What's your name? Brandon. I go by B. Oh my B more gosh. handsome is my IG. Okay. Uh-uh. I just knew just based off of. Y'all, he's going to be another one of those. Another one of what we know. How old are you? I'm 29. I just turned 29 a couple days ago. Okay. okay I see them and feed. now, what do you do? Um, <laughs> I'm a food aggregate. Um, I sell food to local restaurants and residents. Mm -hmm. I do a little bit of real estate. Um, I travel. No. And I invest. I told y'all. I knew it. I knew it before he even opened his mouth. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um. I definitely look at their toes. Um, I look for their vision. Girl, for... if you don't like men looking at they, at your toes, you should have worn some other shoes. The girl with the black jump, jumpsuit, I just already knew. She? Uh. Support system, what does that look like in real time? I also look at what are you looking for in a man? Are you looking for the superficial? Are you looking for the real? Are you looking for a check? Are you looking for... The husband, I mean, those things all matter. So, yeah, I want to hear what you got to say in real time. That was then, valid. Of course, I can adjust or either conform. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so we did get a pop balloon. Let's go ahead and go on over there and see what's, what's going on. Up? Come on over here. Let's go see. <laughs> all right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Sincera. I'm 27. And I just feel like we just wouldn't match as far as energy. I feel like you have a foot fetish a little bit. Um, and that's okay, you know. My feet aren't going to be perfect, though. I do have, you know. No, she's insecure. So she said that he had a foot fetish. And she used that to try to cover up the fact that she's insecure about her feet. That man does not have a foot fetish. All he said was... I see the feet. The other girls giggled. You popped your balloon, girl. You insecure. Feels cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you uh, you so and you popped it because you thought your feet weren't bad. You good, right? Well, exactly. Just only wanted to talk about feet. It's the red flag for me. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, right. she's crazy. She's crazy. He said feet, like. All right, all right, girl. You're really dragging this shit. I think that if your shoes and your feet look good, then your, you know, your mindset can kind of correlate. So I respect it. I appreciate it. Who's Cooper? My dog. 
Okay, Cooper. Well, shit. Maybe I need to arf. Maybe I need to. Be, <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to arf a little bit. Shit, fuck with me. But yeah, I, I respect it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Getting your dog tattooed on you is some crazy shit. And you get it right here. You get it right here. Getting your dog tattooed on you, bro? I ain't never loved an animal that much. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Your dog? Doesn't she have a kid? Didn't she say she have a kid? But she has a dog tattooed right here. Not her kid's name, but her dog. Yo, that woman is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, is she your type? My dog. Um, I think that I don't necessarily have a type. I okay. think I'm more into the mental and the mentality. So the fact that you can express yourself, yeah. I fuck with it. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. She crazy. All right. So we do still have some unpopped balloons. Did you have a question to ask the ladies to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Um, as far as the ladies in real time, like, um, so, so my question is to your plan. As opposed to five years. If you could see yourself with a man in two years, what does that really look like? Good question. What do you want from him? What yes. Him? All right, let's start right here. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Sakari. I'm 30. And in two years, like, dating a man, I would expect some sort of um, commitment because it's been two years. Um, so um, definitely um, just seriousness. Um, moving Genuine. toward marriage and growing families and businesses and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How old are you? I'm 30. I like your style. You're serious too. You're genuine, very genuine. Oh, okay. let's go to the next lady. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. And I would say two years regarding a relationship because I'm really big on building my brand and my business right now. I model and um definitely someone that is okay with being a partner individually and with myself so if hey we're on this business run together that's what it is you know also just having that relationship with god too so i also look for us to have that connection have our peace and we can kind of separate from the rest of the world and just be with just Ashley, just, you banking right now. Mm, you banking. Yeah, definitely. I fuck with it. Okay. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Leah. I'm 28. And within two years, I definitely want to be married. I kind of know what I want. Um, I know a man wants to knows if he wants to marry you within six months, to be honest. And I'm a firm believer on that. Um, so within two years, definitely, I'm looking for a proposal at least. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty firm on it. Where you from? Cali. What part? I live in Victorville. Mm, you ever been in a gang? In a what? Gang. No. Oh, okay. Just had to ask. Victorville is every, sweet. Go ahead. Out of everything she said, you think to ask that? Yeah. See? He go in and out. In and out. In, in the brain. He in and out. No. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Guys, if we can have like your name, age, and the answer to his question. Don't you look like he on drugs or something, bro? There's nothing attractive about these men that's in this video today. Angel23, can you repeat your question, please? Um, As opposed to a five-year plan, I'm thinking about a two-year plan. What are you looking for? What do you see? And then as far as the man that you're looking to court or to have court you, what do you want out of him? What are you looking for? I see his relationship. Um, what does serious mean? Give as me in we're as in we're building towards a marriage i don't want to just be dead. no it seems like he not looking for the answer that's a good answer both of these ladies said marriage and he looked down and then he said you been in the game like this man is on drugs or something wrong with him bro just to date i want to build a foundation a family you know you, you know what i'm saying absolutely yeah how many kids you got i don't have kids how old are you? I'm 23. You want kids? Yes, I do. Okay. What's your name? Angel. Angel. Where you from? Georgia. Okay. Angel, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Angel, if you're watching this video, break up with him right now.
Leave him. Leave him on red. Don't text him. Don't answer his calls. Yeah, no, I love it. I appreciate it. I can accept it for sure. Okay, pop your balloon. Let's do it. Okay, your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name's Alexis. I'm 29. And I would um, expect to be, say we started dating at this point, um, I'd expect at least an engagement, like, to be honest. At this point, year. meaning within if the we started. two year mark, you're saying within two mm -hmm. years, you expect to be engaged. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Hypothetically, and you guys all get a chance to think about this, in two years, within that two years, what do you hypothetically expect to bring to the table? To the table, not a table, but the. You got a man, he's decent, he making a little bread, he not down on his luck. Mm -hmm. You're also meeting him in the middle. What do you expect to bring to the table within two years? If anything at all, and if it's nothing, then that's okay. Yes, so I believe I am the table, so. Sorry, sweet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's nothing else. Like I say, I appreciate you guys, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, thank you, ladies. So you wanted to ask that question to the rest of the ladies, or? Uh, I mean, I gave uh, kind of a table for thought for folks to chew on. If they have a response, absolutely, let's take them. Yeah, because I'm not in this for response? nothing okay. else but the answers and the responsibility of it, which is, who are you in real time? You could have just said yes. I can't with this man, bro. I can't. Whatever he is, man, boy, whatever the fuck. I like a man who has... Of, of, of very few words. <laughs> so, um, everybody got to bring something to the table, right? So, I definitely bring food. Maybe I bring you food make the table. to the table. Maybe no, you make the table. I bring food to right? the table. Okay. You cook. Okay. Shit. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's like he's trying to force him to have the answer that he wants. It seems like he don't like the answers, bro. Arlette, I love you, girl. You're the host, and I know you got a producer. But y'all got to do better. These men y'all picked this entire video has been garbage. You want to know why? Because nobody has matched with nobody. Even if they don't know what they want. Even if they don't believe in Jesus. Even if some don't. The fact that nobody chose each other. It just means that y'all chose the wrong men. Or the wrong women. Something. Deeper than cooking. It's, it's nutrition. So I'm, I'm big on what I'm cooking in preparing for my family. Oh, right. There was one match. I take that back. Sorry. Love it. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm kind of over him. All right. So based off of those responses you heard, if I can have someone's toothpick, I'm going to pass this on over to you. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's switched on over to you. Out of what you've heard so far, I'm going to have you pop two balloons of the ones who you weren't really feeling all that much. I don't like him. Two balloons. <laughs> I gotta pop two. Gotta pop two. Oh <laughs> shit! You popped yours already, baby. So I ain't never been in this position before. <laughs> um, I know it's tough, right? <laughs> let's do. Fuck! I don't like y'all. This is not cool. <laughs> I, I gotta choose. You gotta choose. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Can I ask a question? All no right, question. go for it. Go for it. Ask a question. <laughs> hey, I think I'm playing. What is cognitive dissonance? Cognitive dissonance. What does that mean to you? What the fuck? Cognitive dissonance. What does that mean to you? This nigga is weird, bro. He is weird. Start right here. He's weird. Um, is it like a disassociation with like a mental? Close enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh -uh. aware of what's happening perfect go ahead and the fact that y'all didn't pop your balloon after he's acting like this it seems like y'all are desperate bro y'all may not be desperate desperate but y'all are desperate desperate why have y'all not popped your balloon just like when that poet guy was up here y'all took your sweet time popping your balloon y'all found out he was homeless after the fact why is the discernment not there and then y'all saying y'all women of jesus but where is the discernment, bro? Don't cheat. <laughs> yeah, don't cheat. Because she, yeah, I do this. Go ahead. This is so funny. Think it's a part of being mentally stable and also being mentally aware of where you're at and where people around you are at. And so in real time, if you're dealing with a man who's experiencing cognitive dissonance, what would you do to respond? Um, honestly, I feel like black men have it the worst when it comes to mental health 
Um, so I'm very aware with the way I treat black men for that reason. So I would respond very therapeutic, I feel like, Good based question. off my experience. Yep. You can answer too, even though you popped your balloon if you want to. It's fine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Out of this whole video, she the one that actually made sense in this part of the video, because there's nothing funny about this. There's nothing entertaining about this. And the fact that y'all let him treat y'all like this and y'all don't pop a balloon after he just talks to y'all like this, it's just wild. <laughs> yeah, they think, shit, I need to figure it out. They think this shit is cute, too. They think it's cute. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you got to pop me in because I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> Damn. Go ahead. <laughs> back here, back here. Come back here. They think this shit is cute. Yes. Are you asking what the definition of cognitive is? I'm assistance? asking what does it mean to you? Because maybe you have, like, for instance, love. You might say one thing, I might say another. We don't agree. Right. So I'm not saying, say what I say. I'm saying what does it mean to you? Cognitive dissonance is when you um, say something and you act a completely different way. So when they're not aligning. Okay, so I'll pop one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You gonna pop one more? All pretty as hell. Don't yes. take me wrong for this, but I don't know y'all for shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck with that. I like her. Yeah. I fuck with her. She okay. Was, <laughs> if he ain't choosing me, nah, hey. Own. If he ain't choosing me, I don't want him. I can fuck with a chick like that. I let can me, fuck with let that. Let me come over here. I can fuck with that. Why'd you end up popping? But I ain't never point to you, so I'm kind of like disappointed. Your outfit was cute as fuck, but go ahead. Hey. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. The whole like yeah. all of that was Y'all beautiful. Too much. It's I don't know y'all too much. It's like he's performing or some shit. Like he there's nothing smooth about him. He all shit. over the place. Yeah, I don't know y'all for shit. Y'all pretty as hell. I'm just being real. Yeah, but you've asked the most questions, honestly, and I feel like you had a little bit more of time to kind of figure it out. That's dope. I went last. Okay. Yeah, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no. That proves her point. You had a little bit more time. Wrong. I'm just saying that was my situation. That's all. What? Yeah, I was really like liking you. Like your mm -hmm. look. The whole look is so dope. I like Thank the you. whole. Yeah, y'all are too into his look, and you're not paying attention to what the fuck he's doing. This man is a goofy. Oh, like natural thing. Work super hard on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dope. But it, it was just, yeah, the. All the indecisiveness, yeah, yeah, super indecisive. That could do it. Yeah. I done turned a lot of people down based on that. Mm -hmm. All right, so then I guess I'll go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Hmm, let's see here. Okay, I'll go ahead and ask them. So ladies, what are some of the characteristics you look for in a partner? That's funny, because that's what I was gonna ask if I had a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely someone that is able to comprehend. I feel like listening is one thing, but understanding what's coming out of my mouth is another. Um, also just being open. I'm very artsy, very, if you are trying to find me, I'm either asleep or working on something. So oh, definitely just having an understanding. Sometimes my space is just what it is and it's just to express myself. But other than that. Got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Um, I'm looking for somebody to lead me correctly. I've been led down so many different wrong paths with men, and I'm tired, just mm. like you're tired. Where do you want to go? I want to be led to greatness. Like, I want somebody that's going to have multiple businesses and, and me be a part of those businesses. I don't Woman, we got to stop with this multiple businesses shit. Please. That is some social media ingrained shit. Before now, nobody was, no woman was saying this. Y'all are letting social media affect your brains. There is nothing wrong with a nine to five man that could lead you and just be at his nine to five. You know, it's there, there's, but there's also nothing wrong with wanting a man to have his own business and wanting to have a business with your man. But that don't have to be everybody's inspiration. It don't have to be everybody's goal. Just letting you know. I want you to do it alone. I want to be a part of it. Yeah. I want you to venture off into what I'm doing as well and be a part of that as well. 
um, you know, I want to build a foundation, like a very strong foundation that way. So when we're at the top and things go wrong, we have that strong foundation to like build off of. Do you want to base it off of money or love? Love. I have my own money. Mm -hmm. right, it was a trick question. I was just, I just <laughs> want to see what she was thinking. I love it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. And now uh, the question was, what characteristics do you look for in a man? Uh, respectful, loving, and are you open? Open-minded or open-hearted, or what do you look Both. for? Both, yeah, all of it. Sure. Good stuff, for sure. Now, you asked for open-minded, mm -hmm. open-hearted. Mm -hmm. Random question. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go to everybody, but it's very specific. Um, what does that look like for you and a person who might have a kid already? Yeah, I got a son, he's five years old. He's good, but he's bad. <laughs> I'm just being real. However, I'm teaching him to build and groom himself around people. Yeah. So how does that look for someone who doesn't have any kids? Oh, I have kids. A new kid. Yeah. Uh, Again, I everybody. Right? I just can't. Right. Uh, I love kids. I'm actually, um, I'm very nurturing. I love being a mother. I have two sons myself. Age? Six and two. Okay. So for yourself, life insurance policy, you and your kids, tell me about that. I do not at this time. Okay. And would you have a reason for why not? Um, Be real. You know, hey. I just haven't set it up it's, yet. It's just one of those things, huh? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. And that's the thing, like, what the first guy was saying, some shit you just wait till you're sitting down at the table and you ask somebody. You don't need to ask certain shit when, you know, hundreds of thousands of people are going to watch this video, bro. Why would I tell you if I had a life insurance policy on my two sons in front of 600,000 people that are watching? Like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, Based on what I've seen, I'm going to go ahead and pop this balloon. Okay. All right, let's move on over here. All right, ladies, there are two of you. I honestly think um, Ashley would, would sue him because she's more calm and she's more... I don't know. I think Ashley will be a better fit for him, but. Left. Uh, any final questions to go ahead and determine if this is going to be a yes for you? All right. Uh, what type of father are you? Are you very involved? Are you not so involved? Are you, co how, what kind of co-parent are you? Awesome question. Um, I'm one of the fathers who will like do the absolute most and still get the absolute least from their partner. Mm -hmm. But still hang in there because I ain't got shit else. I ain't had no family growing up. I ain't necessarily had the things that I wanted to have growing up. So for my son, that, which is what I have, he's five years old, I feel like that's the only thing that I can give him besides a life insurance policy, mm -hmm. for example, which is why I asked that question. That's not the only thing you can give him. Uh, I mean, as far as monetary value. No, not even as far as monetary value. You can give him a lot of other things, but that's not the only thing you could give him. <clears throat> my question's for the children as well. I know this sounds like you're providing, which is great, but do you also instill in them, like, mentally, emotionally? Because I feel like raising boys is a little different. Guys are a little bit more lenient when it comes to that, but it's important to know where their brain is. Yeah, um, it's funny because, man, I grew up, I sat with a dude who brought me out here to Arizona named Meech, Demetrius. We watched the movie. I'm sorry. As soon as you ask him a question, and he just there, here, there, 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 it just just turns me off so bad. Like, man, like I said, I like a man that's straightforward. Uh, Mr. Fantastic. And it's weird because that man taught his kids everything he could teach them in regards to outside of school. And I'm social. not asking about the man that you met. I'm asking you. Structure that has everything to do with not what we're used to growing up with. And I took that and I ran with that. So when it comes to the kids, like no matter whether it's my kid or not, mm -hmm. I'm installing the emotional structure, the stability, the concept, because me as a grown man, the fact that I could talk to a woman and not feel emotion, that's a problem, right? Okay. There's, there should be some connection there. And so if I could talk to a woman and we can gain some connection, I need to be able to show that to the next generation. And if okay. I can, then that means we have some hope versus we figure out how to like bash each other and not make it work. 
So that's okay. my concept on that. I feel like that answer like a two on one. Cause that means you're emotionally mm -hmm. intelligent for yourself. Okay. Yeah, I have a whole lot of that. That's that's <laughs> like my regular, but that's not like mm -hmm. in real time, right? Yeah. In real time, we care about like our bills being paid. We yeah, care about course, like our needs being met. You come before your children, or mm -hmm. if you have children, right? Have you children. come before them, and then the kids come. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like how I try to teach the people to be when you're going to be around someone who's trying to lead and provide. Because there's no way I'm going to provide for the kids and not provide for you as a woman. That makes no sense at all. Okay. I like all right. But it's he time just to said that he interacts with this kid without having his partner involved, like his baby mom involved. But then he just said, I got to care for you first before I care for the child. So I'm trying to figure out which one is it. Your final decision. Oh, You've got only got two ladies left. Who are we picking out of these two Wait, beautiful ladies? You do. You got to pick. <laughs> and they haven't, haven't. <laughs> you got to pick. Hurry we up. got two beautiful ladies here. Hurry Who up. are you going to pick? So my, my last decision, I'm going now to. Now I can see what the last red girl was saying. That indecisiveness shit. I hate that shit, bro. I need a man that know what the fuck he want, bro. The make is we're going to pop this balloon. <gasps> And then oh. if you will have me, I'll take you on a date. All right, come on out here. Oh, I'll have you come here. All right, so is it going to be a yes for you for him? Um, I have one question. Okay. Where do you currently reside? I have a house on the south side of Phoenix. I have an apartment on 16th and Bethany Home. I do a little bit of real estate, so I have a few places to stay. And me living in California is not a problem for you? No, I actually plan to do some work in California over the next year to two and a half years. She need to ask him, where does he plan on living? Which state? I have a place in Cali that I could reside, so we could kick it whenever you wanted to, honestly. Okay. And nobody asked him when he wants to get married. Girl, y'all not asking the questions, bro. You're not. So, is that going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. All right, is it a yes for you for her? Yes. Hey, we got a match. All right, I'll go ahead and- All right, good. Now get the fuck out of my face. I'll find a Jasmine. Jazz is natural. Arlet Emily. Pop the balloon or find love. Like, subscribe. There's more videos to come. Bye.